Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Open XCOM 1.0 with mods. I am your host, Jay Stank. We are dangerously close to finishing the game. However, I am afraid that I have screwed everything up because I cannot find the last mission. And I am definitely afraid of what I have to do next, which is attack Ethereals at their home base and hope to god we get some a commander which is um shall we say it terrifying we will have to do small launchers first before we do anything else we have all the money in the world, except for we cannot unlock that last mission. As you can see, it's not there. Even though we've captured commanders before, we have not unlocked the final mission, folks. And I think we have to go back to Hawaii and destroy the Ethereals where they came from. That is not going to be fun. But first we need small launchers. And we will be shooting down lots and lots of craft in the meantime. Let's see here, we got another one. Damn it. Oh, wait for it. There it is. Two hundred and eight UFOs, folks. Two hundred and eight UFOs. We are February of two thousand and we have not figured out how to unlock the last mission. God damn it. Right. I got this down to a science now. Now we splash that one down into the drink. And there we go, small, very high north century ship cerebral. Oh, cancel. And there we go. Bam! If we find something like a chitonite, no, not a chitonite. A grazer, I will I will go ahead and do that mission. Until then, I think we're gonna wait. I'm going to jump ahead until we get to the tech that I want, and if anything interesting happens, we'll come back. Okay, we got power suits completed. We will allocate manufacture of the another thunderstorm to increase our thunderstormy power. Thunderstorm, right. I'm gonna make one of those. Alright. I'll be back whenever sun launchers are done. Something interesting did happen. We uh, intercepted a supply ship and... God damn it, man. Stop flying UFOs. Anyways, we've intercepted a supply ship and found another base here in South America, which is a Muton base. I'm kind of afraid of getting a Muton commander just because uh, last time I tried to research a Muton commander, it did not give me what I wanted. Um, we could try it. I'd rather do that than Ethereal. But I think I still need to do Ethereals because we need to unlock Sectopods. And I want to show you that. And for that, we need, um, Sectopodian corpses. And I will be back whenever stun launchers are done. And finally, stun launchers are complete. Now we just have to make, uh, small, uh, I'm sorry, small launchers. And now we have to make small bombs, or stun bombs. There we go. And... Awesome. 
Okay, we have um, two battleships that are just now getting... A, um, two battleships we have to take care of now. Two battleships. This one is, they're both mutons. And we are going to send up many of the attackers to take them out. And we do have many of the attackers to send. That's an Avenger and a Thunderstorm there. Resources to next battleship. There. I think that's good enough. Boy, that is a, that is a uh, battleship in a day, but it's a muton battleship, and we don't have the equipment, really, to stun anything yet. Damn. We're almost done with, uh, stun bombs. Excellent. Okay, now. Oh, we can have stun- oh, we can make stun grenades as well. We will go ahead and do that, actually. That is something I did not realize that we could do. Stun grenades. Excellent. Or. Wow, we didn't even do alien grenades yet? Wow. But we will do... Stun grenades. Now, I know it was there. Um... Aha! Got it. Sweet. Okay, apparently we can reduce that as well. Okay, now, all right, let's see how many stun launchers we have at the moment. Whoa, wrong base. All right. Um, let's see, equipment. Stun launcher, a small launcher. We have five of them and some stun bombs. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we got um, some sunny suns. We'll go ahead and give everybody some taser pistols as well, just in case. And then um, we do have some stun equipment here, stun equipment there, All right, um, right, and right. Okay, here we go. Alright, not everybody has stun tasers. How many stun tasers do we need? One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. About fourteen stun... stuff? Stun, uh... Nope. Yes, we need more of these uh, tasers. We will purchase taser shucks. Fourteen and uh, twenty-four, twenty-eight. All right. Yeah, let that come in real quick. Ah, oh, another ship. So many ships. So little time. Alright. There we go. Shucks. Come in. We'll equip that. Taser 
pistol. Right. And I will put those on. And here we go, folks. Ethereal base in Hawaii. Oh, God. This is going to be horrifying. This will be no vacation, folks. This is going to be very, very scary. Hobbs, where is your armor, man? Damn it. God damn it. All right. All right, well, why don't you just kind of stay back there? Hobbs, do. And Silver Clawed Wolf, we will see what is down here. Nothing. Right. And also, uh, Corfin, oh no, Jeffrey Lannister, you need to get back slightly. Right. Oh god. Dave, none of your business is now a colonel. And Jackbox! Yes, we will use you to peek, and we do see an ethereal, oh god! Oh boy, what have I got myself into? And that one decided not to die. Good thing we did kill him there. And... Boy, we got a whole bunch of high-ranking people here. Unknown hero. Right. Nothing there. Okay. See what happens. Okay, we need that commander. And... We're gonna use Dragon Dave to get it. down this way. That's excellent, actually, because we are in a corner here. And, oh god, Sectopod! Whew, okay. That, folks, is a Sectopod. It needs to die. I just realized we don't have any lasers. Shit. Well, this is going well. Hmm. Let's see. Corfin. Huh. Actually, Corfin, you're gonna try a little experiment, and you're gonna try to bust through that wall there, and Evertoaster as well. I almost don't even want to try to walk through that. It could be... That's a piece of dirt, so I don't think we're going to be able to knock through that. But... Actually, we could knock through this wall. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Alright, so... Alright. Yeah, we need some big guns down there. Actually, Captain Green, what do you got in there? Yeah, why don't you, um... Something a little more heavy duty there. Uh. <clears throat> right. Keep a flobman, you don't even have a weapon. It'd be nice if you would have a weapon, please, sir. Thank you. Oh, with ammo, no ammo. What the fuck is going on? Is there no ammo? Are we running out of ammo here? Clips? No clips? Oh god. Okay, that has ammo. This one, however, does not. Well, hold on. That ha ah! Now I messed everything up. Damn it. Okay. Alright, hopefully no one dies horribly. Uh, 29, 27 shots, 31. We cannot do that. Prince of USA, 11. No bueno. Why don't you go down as well? Uh, Terra Nick, stay there. Remy. Alright. Oh god. That's not going to be good. 
like I said, if a sectopod doesn't see you, he might forget where you are. Which is fabulous. Oh god, oh god. Alright, unknown hero. Good shot on that, um, that guy. As well as... We are going to take out the sectopod here, and hopefully they are susceptible to this type of weapon. Okay, not bad, not bad. That was not bad at all. Took out that sectopod with a uh, little trouble there. Alright, and there's still a goddamn another one. Don't seem to be very susceptible to that, though. Remy. Dragon Dave, you're not going to be able to do it. Remy, you need to duck out of the way. And... God damn it. Okay, Silver Clawed Wolf, I need you to move... Maybe... Actually, if you move here, uh, you're probably not going to have a shot, I would say. Why don't you move there instead? 24, maybe? Backhand shot? No, I'll not risk it. We'll move over there. And then we'll have Dragon Dave kind of move up that way. Hopefully he won't see anybody. Jackbox, I need you to move just a little bit more down, please. Thank you. Oh shit, that's just great. Alright, we killed a couple things on that round. Hopefully nothing's going to attack us! Right, nothing there. Ah! Hello, Mr. Sectopod Man. Okay, unknown hero. Move back a little bit so that uh, Prince of UFSA can take a nice little auto shot to the face! Three shots down. Excellent. So far, so good. We are not getting mind controlled because the uh, ethereals have not gotten a line of sight on us as of yet. This is a good thing. I still think line of sight should be a squad based line of sight instead of a uh, line of sight. Because how it works is you actually have to actually have physical line of sight. Not with squad based, but just with um, your actual character. Which is a bit. Uh, eh. It's a bit. Eh. So. Yeah. Okay, we're going to cheat a little bit. We're going to try to bust into this back wall here. Since we can't bust into there. So I'm going to have Ever Toaster come down. And next turn, he's going to bust through this wall here once we secure this hallway. And, yeah, that's about all we can do there. Pretty much all we can do there. And hopefully nothing will kill us. And Walla Wender will come back up here, please. Thank you. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, oh, guy. Now, he could have totally mind-controlled us there if he wanted to, but he decided not to. Right. Ethereal. Uh, two Ethereals. A Sectopod! Boy, they... Oh, man. Yeah, it's not great. Ever Toaster. Okay, we can get some plasma shots on that, but that's not going to be very uh, helpful. But Prince of USA will actually come over here. Got some reaction fire from that side. And, uh, actually, you know what? We'll do this. Very nice. Very nice. And we also see another one. We're not going to be able to shoot right away. <clears throat> Very good. So far, 
far so good. Okay. Come on, come on, nothing, nothing, excellent, okay, now. Now that we've assumingly taken control of this hallway, I want to bust through that door with the uh, plasma torch. Seeing another sectopod there. Not great. But we will happily deal with that with the this guy here. Actually, we need to move you out of the way, sir. Okay, good. Auto shot to the face, to the sectopod. No line of fire. Damn it, come on, buddy. Damn it, that was not great. Possibly a snapshot. Oof. 33 time units. Silver Claude Wolf. Damn it, that is not enough firepower. Now we are in a pickle. Not great. Someone's gonna die next turn, and I hopefully it's not gonna be. Tell you that is not the right tool for taking out that sectopod. Damn it! That is not great. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay. Ah, shit. Someone's gonna die. I screwed up already. Damn it. Okay, wait. Let's see here. We got a bunch of dudes here. We need to get someone, like, right there. 23, it's not gonna help us. 5, it's not gonna help us. 10, not gonna help us. You're not gonna help us either. Even the Great Terran Nick will not have enough to help us. Damn it. Oh man, I'm sorry for whoever's gonna die here. Okay, seems like uh, the sectopod has suffered the same fate that we have, and uh, shot someone in the face, but uh, we're gonna shoot back here. My god, that should have done it. That should have done it. This is not good. Eleven time units. That's... Did you already shoot? You already shot. That's not gonna help us. Oh my god, finally. Yeah, that, that thing was redonkulous. Alright. Next turn, Ever Toaster's gonna go through that wall. Nothing up there. So far, so good. Alright. Ever Toaster, we need you to go through here. And to expose the command center. Very nice, very nice. Corpses 
and people with stun launchers, Bethel Bunny. Also, we're going to check for wounds as well. No wounds, awesome. Uh, let's see here. Who else has stunning equipment? Antonius Skyus. It's up to you, man. Actually, drop that. Do that. Next time you'll have more time units. And who else is stunning stuff? Klipoflagen. You don't have a weapon. Or ammo for that matter. So why don't you that clip up and head downstairs. Cool. Okay, hopefully we can find a commander in that command room. So we got some people with stun equipment here. Let's see here. We've got. I know it's notoriously hard to stun one of these guys. Nothing there. Okay. Alright, so we got. We need Battle Bunny and. There we go. Right. So here we go. Evertoaster, you're going to bust through that. And we are going to actually check what's behind this door here. Nothing. Damn it. to stun that guy. That is probably an engineer. Damn it, come on, man. There we go. Who are you, sir? A leader. Okay, useful, but not a commander. Another man there. Right. Another leader.
There's a man up there, could be the commander. But uh, Battle Bunny, or Silver Clawed Wolf is in grave danger, I must say. see him there. Eighteen time use to stun and he is sitting there. We'll probably need to stun him from this side. Oh god, I hope this works. No! No! Battle Bunny! Ah, that was not good. Damn it! Battle Bunny's down. That is probably the commander as well. Damn it. Come on, man, go down. Shit. And someone's gonna react fire, I know it. Oh, Silver Cold Wolf had a goddamn. Ah, uh, fuck. That could have worked. What she need to shoot that? 14, 13, 17, I don't think that's going to work, shit, missed, uh, this is all or nothing here guys, this, if this is the commander we need to get it right straight away, there's no messing around here, fuck, Oh, thank god he didn't shoot anybody. Damn it, Battle Bunny! Why'd you have to die? There we go. Alright, I think we got him this time. Yes! Damn it! It was just a leader. Ah, uh, shit. Battle Bunny has been dead and has died in vain. He will. His, his death will be avenged, however, because. Shit. That was not a commander. Alright, I'm gonna check the time. Oh god, we are way out of time, so we will continue the base attack next time. Next time on JSync Plays, heavily modded XCOM. Until next time, folks, this is JSync signing out.